So the giving comes with the trust because it's like the sensation of giving, because everything is an act of giving, comes with this sensation of trust. Because if you're in a this this feeling of giving, then you won't feel lack. Isn't that crazy? You only feel lack when there's not that sensation of giving. And it's not a personal giving. It's not like you want to give all your money away, although it can be like that. It's not anything to do with actually what physically happens in life. I mean, you could end up giving away your possessions and things, but it's not about that. It's that life is constantly in a state of giving. And when you're not divided and separating, then everything's directly coming from God. So it feels like a gift. It feels like an act of giving. Everything, every word, every sight, every vision, every sound, every footstep is life giving to itself. It's life's total creativity. And so when there's more of an alignment with that, it's like then this trust comes because you're not feeling in a state of lack. You're not feeling like life is going to take from you. Because there is no you to take. But that's not the exclusion of the growth and the destruction. It's not the exclusion that this body is going to lose everything. It's going to lose money. It's going to lose its home. It's going to lose the body. It's going to die. It's going to rot. But even that is an act of giving. Oh, it's so radical, this subject. <laughs> I'm in such a space cadet mood tonight. It's funny because it must be funny to see the different moods when I'm talking because sometimes I can be really hyper. Today I feel so like a space cadet, I can't explain it. And when I feel like a space cadet, I think I, I'm like, bo, 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 like I'm an alien or something. My eyes. Mm. Mm. Like even drinking this drink is an act of giving. Everything is. I mean, look, look at the sunflowers, look at the view, I'm looking at myself now, look at this black jumper and these earrings, and the light. Yesterday, <clears throat> so at the beginning of the month, I paid my rent, I went and gave my landlord the rent, and it just... It's so amazing. Like just the simplest of things that the money is there to pay the rent. And the money is there to eat the food. <clears throat> and why I say that is because I don't live in this mind structure of being a business person or working for money. So it's like money is a gift. It's like it comes. It comes. Yeah. It's hard to explain. And then over this subject, if I speak about it, everyone just projects on privileged white girl, she doesn't know what she's talking about. I was just trying to say I don't work for money. I, my fixation is to express my love. Even though I, I get paid for this and I get paid for doing retreats, I do it because I love it. I do it because it's a passion. And so it doesn't feel like I'm working for money. So the fact that I have enough money to pay for everything is just amazing. Now that didn't happen by chance. I know I have to be careful here because everyone gets annoyed and projects the privilege card onto me. Yes, but you're so privileged, blah, 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 blah. 
<clears throat> it takes balls to step away from the mainstream and to follow your heart. It really takes a lot of courage. <clears throat> I'm sorry for the offensive remark saying it takes balls. <laughs> it doesn't take balls. I don't need to be a man to do it. <laughs> didn't mean that. <laughs> it just takes courage. Tremendous, tremendous strength to, to follow your heart. Just think how many times through the day you compromise it for the idea of money, the idea of security, the idea of other people. Your heart's not nasty. Your heart, when you really follow your heart, it's not nasty because it comes out of a place of giving. It might be nasty to other people because they might not be getting what they want from you. You do nasty things when you don't follow your heart. You do nasty things because you begrudge others for behaving the way they do because you've compromised yourself and every time you compromise yourself it hurts. And that's when you do nasty things, you begin to hate other people because you've compromised yourself for them, you've hurt yourself for them and they've not hurt themselves for you. How dare they not do what you want when you've forced yourself to do what they want. But actually, but you, you won't find that your heart's really nasty and you won't find that you're really selfish either. You, the human, when it's not identified, it's not this super greedy monster that's going to fuck everyone over. That's what we all fear. If I really follow my heart, I fear a devil will come out. And it's not true. It's not you following your heart, and it's not heart that's in here. When I say heart, I mean being, the heart of life, beingness. So I don't mean you as something separate, it's when you like stand on the edge of the cliff and just go poof into what is, the flow. The flow is life, the flow isn't a personal thing. <clears throat> 